Hey guys, it's Maddie here. It's time for another Maddie Monday. Okay, so now this time I'm gonna try and see if I can do this unscripted. Um, I have my song that I plan on doing uh, for lip syncing. I don't know, tell me what you think. It's, it's a fun little game song. Um, got my new little headset. I love this headset. Um, so back to... I have favorite pieces at a time. It goes such as I start liking this fun band piece at one moment, but then within a week I start finding something new. I like I like listening to many different things, especially as a music educator. But I think we can all understand on this part. We have to get used to under, uh, understanding and knowing many different kinds of repertoire because for our own bands, our own orchestras, our own jazz ensembles, everything, we have to get used to playing other things. And unique things are just part of what we got to do. Uh, always got to remember what the kids got to learn. I know I, I hated doing marches to save my life, but that's beside the point. So uh, the piece that I chose was Samuel Barber's First Symphony. Now, I like it. It's a fun, adventurous piece only because we played an excerpt for it for auditions. And that was actually a fun excerpt had I not been so bad at uh, playing it. Now that I look back at it, I probably could have done better at it. But you know, we think about that all the time with whatever we play. So going back onto what your piece, what the pieces should be, I wish I could have more. I honestly, it was just what it was. I found the piece and I was like, I enjoy, enjoy listening to this piece. Right now I have a Granger piece stuck in my head, but I couldn't find that score. It's Children's March for you, uh, anybody who wants to know. Brenda, you should know this. Uh, I've, told, I've had you listen to me, uh, listen to it with me a bunch of times for Taylor and Caitlin. Good piece to listen to. Be sure to go find out. And James, I mean, I'll go for it. Listen to as much as you can. Um, so I hope you guys are enjoying the song. I enjoy, I enjoy this song, but eh, I don't know. Maybe I just have weird taste. Um, and now. I don't have a hat, so we're going to do this with my Food Methods book. So I'm going to wear this because it might as well be a dunce hat. Uh, okay, I'm going to leave it at that before I say anything else. Okay, so uh, most awkward moment or embarrassing moment in my music career. Well, I have a few of those, but one that sticks out to me the most was that my senior year of high school. Um, we were in rehearsal, and okay, this, this will sound a little conceited, oh well. Um, in band, we were playing a piece called Four Scottish Stances. Again, another fun piece to look up, beside the point. And I've been nailing this, whole, this solo the whole time. I'm the only bassoon in my wind ensemble, and I'm playing this piece just by my eye. Uh, it's supposed to be two bassoons, two clarinets, bam, go. But... I don't have a second bassoon with me. Good, bad. Beside the point, I nail the solo every time because I was just always on top of it, rhythmically accurate. Every time, gotta stay on top of it. Gotta make sure that I know my stuff. Because if I don't, well, as many of you probably have noticed, not knowing your stuff in band is bad. Really bad. And there was just this one rehearsal where I missed it. I messed it up but only by small bit. And everybody in the room gasped after my band director cut us off. My band director looked at me and was like, are you all right? <laughs> I'm just, I'm like, I, I don't know what to do. I actually messed it up. It, it's just, it's nothing bad. It's just everybody laughs. Everybody expected me to always have it perfect. They don't expect mistakes from me. I don't know if that's what you guys have. Oh, yay mistakes. Um, I'm trying to think of another time. There was a time in, uh, what's it called, in my chamber group where I I started up, we were playing three shanties uh, for Good, Goodwood Wood Quintet to know, uh, and I started us off in the second movement, but as we were going through the piece, I jumped a line, I, 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 I do it often, it's sort of dumb, don't know why I do it happens, shit happens. 
<clears throat> okay. And my group just sort of stops playing. I stop playing, and they look at me as like, are you all right? And it was again one of those moments where, holy crap, I made a mistake. I shouldn't be doing this. And that's where they just sort of all laughed at me. In a good way, you know, because they, they, they all enjoyed me. This is, this is another little funny thing added on to that woodwind quintet of mine from high school. Because I had two in, uh, during my scene. I had two all throughout all my high school years. Uh, so during my senior year, we were trying to come up with a name for our group. And as much as it pains me to say it, they, uh, they only got stuff done when I was there. And they, they all loved it. They all loved that I, that I got stuff done. They enjoyed doing the work. But uh, that my flute player, sassiest little boy you'll ever meet. He's, he's a senior now graduating, probably going to end up going here. Beside the point. He shouts out the name Maddie and the Slaves. Now, now I'm like, you know, okay, okay. Then everybody's like, yeah, let's go put that name in. And here my band director's walking in. He's like, so guys, what are you doing? We came up with our band, our Woodwind Quintet name. Well, yeah, what is it? Maddie and the Slaves. My band director just sort of looks at all of us. He's like, are you sure? He's like, I can see it. I can see it. We'll, we'll leave it. And then I'm like, why would you say that? <sighs> Fun time. Fun time. Uh, James, I wish I could have done more with your uh, challenges but because I actually did not start doing my video stuff up until 1120 on Monday night this is what what you guys get um, I'll do I'll explain more stuff later I mean if we're planning on doing our life stories like musical stories anything really I'll I just worry about doing that later I mean, it's not that big of a deal for a later video um so I hope you guys enjoy this. I'm going to... You guys should help me with some video editing. Yeah. Um, I, I still think that we should be... We should try and do a virtual ensemble as a group. I like the idea. I mean, if you guys already have your scenes going. Whatever. You know, James and I will turn up with our uh, hopefully good video editing. So, and that's... See you later for next time. Woo! -hoo.